What's up guys? So I wanted to go a little bit more in depth with the uh, carbon fiber shield. Uh, I told you guys I'd tell you about it a little bit more so I know you couldn't see it because I was filming from the GoPro. But here it is right in front of you. I took a piece of carbon fiber, laminated it, and I put a little piece of foam, we call it Bakelite, on the back of it uh, so it doesn't hit the screen and also kind of acts as a... Uh, a balancer so it's not tilting the camera to one side. Here's the quadcopter and basically also this uh, little screen protector is from Lumineer. Uh, I bought it off Amazon I think it's like 25 bucks. It's definitely worth it. Uh, it's got little velcro straps so you don't have to have the heavy and bulky GoPro case. Uh, so you can get a little good look at that. All right, so I cut out the carbon fiber piece to match the Lumineer um, lens protector. Uh, so you can kind of see here that I have like little ridges cut out for this for these marks. And uh, basically these two holes are going to hold another Velcro strap similar to what I have here. And it's going to mount right into the quadcopter. So let me strap that in for you. So this is going to go right here. This is going to go right over it. I actually should have done this before, but this strap is going to go through here. Now depending on what kind of quadcopter you guys have, um, actually it's custom so you won't even be able to get them, but uh, Depending on what kind of quadcopter I'll have in the future, hopefully it'll have little straps or holes for me to mount this. Otherwise, I'll have to fabricate another one. So this goes right through here. Just right through the hole. And then this flips over and back onto itself, which kind of holds the GoPro in place. So there you can get a better look. And this is what I was filming on in vlog number 18. So you guys get a better idea of how the camera was mounted. And I really wanted to build this uh, plate frame in, in case like any bugs or you know, something were to come at it, it doesn't crack uh, the LCD screen here on the GoPro, or if it happens to crash, you know, it won't crack anything, hopefully. Um, and it does also hold, help hold the camera in, in place so it doesn't fall forward. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. The image uh, when recording is also a lot more stable, I guess is the word. Uh, the first time I mounted the GoPro, it was on these rubber pieces that were on top of here that's supposed to kind of absorb the shock from when the the uh, quadcopter pans or tilts uh, but I seem to have found that it gets just very shaky so mounting it here directly to the frame and othering it with this plate frame kind of makes it a little bit less shaky and you can definitely tell that kind of quality from vlog number 18 so that is it. If you guys haven't checked out vlog number 18, that will demonstrate the flight quality. Uh, I do take the quadcopter up pretty high. I guess is maybe 100 feet, 200 feet. I wasn't measuring, so it's just a guesstimate. So thanks for watching. Uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya.